Hi, my name is Denise from Interview TV and I'd like to welcome you to this Tech Talk with Bernhard Richter. He's Vice President Geomatics at Leica Geosystems, part of Hexagon. Good morning, Bernhard. Hello. Morning. Yeah, last time we met in person, so um, was in 2016, right before Intergeo in Hamburg. You came here into our Intergeo TV studio and then you told me something about, I think it was that time, um, GS16 in that solutions and services uh, video talk. And right now I discovered something really exciting at LinkedIn. So just a few weeks, um, I discovered an exciting post on your profile. It was called, finally, it is out of the box. Capture everything before the scene disappears. And this is right now the new innovation, the tech innovation from Leica. And this is what we are talking about today. So tell me what's new from Hexagon, um, which you will also show at Intergeo Digital this year. So you're very well prepared, I, I see. So that that's surprising. And actually, what's new, I would say, is one of the questions I hear most often when I usually stand at the Intergeo. And I kind of, you know, you get tired hearing uh, what's new from Leica and everybody wants to hear about the one big thing. But I, I would like to, to remind the audience that if you buy a Leica product, if you buy a Leica premium product, and if you have a, a customer care package, actually it's a, it's a continuous journey. And with our software enhancements, we continuously improve our products. So even so your product might be two years old, but if it runs latest firmware, you typically uh, benefit from all the, the new things we constantly develop also in existing platforms. But as you said before, the big news thing for sure is the, the GS18i, the GS18i with visual positioning, as we call it. It's the first time that uh, a camera, an IMU, and the GNSS is deeply integrated, and you can then measure points at centimeter level accuracy from images. So you capture a scene, and, and you can measure these points then in the images, or you can even go further and, and generate a point card. Wow, this is really interesting. And um, I am um, I'm also interested in um, asking for visitors of Intergeo, like surveyors and so on. So which kind of problems does this GS18i solve? So um, just tell us or tell us the story behind that, for which problems it is. So we in, in product management, uh, we have a, the, the thinking that if you're not solving true customer problems, product itself will not be a success. So we actually, everything we do, we start with the, with the problem. And thinking of the GS18i, what are the specific problems we want to solve here? Um, I see it in a, in a way that GPS and GNSS signals are extremely weak signals. We forget this quite often. So if you are, from away from a cell tower of, let's say, at one kilometer, the GNSS signal is 40 million times weaker than the cell tower signal. So that also means it's highly vulnerable and it's very easy to block. So the epic goal of GNSS is that you can use that technology also in obstructed area, that you can use it when the signal is blocked, when you can't actually track the GNSS signals. So that problem to utilize GNSS in more areas than before is the fundamental problem we wanted to solve with the GS18i. So we would like to measure in areas that are obstructed. And then there is other elements as well we can solve with the GS18i. Sometimes some areas are inaccessible. So there might be dangerous areas or you, you can't actually climb down a trench or it's across a busy road. So you, 
you also want to measure there, but it's quite dangerous to access that area. So that's another problem we are trying to solve with this new technology. And um, sometimes, uh, it's not so obvious, but sometimes the, the client doesn't really know what his final delivery should be. So I mean here, the, the level of detail is not clearly known when the client asks the surveyor to do the measurement for him. So with that technology, you actually don't need to know every point you have to pick up in the field. You can actually film or, or take an image group of the scenery and can decide later on in the office what points you would like to measure. Or think of an open trench with a pipe in there. You might not know exactly which points or which valve you would like to measure. The trench is then covered up later on, but with that technology, you have it all captured and the, the level of detail is actually all there and you can go like with a virtual survey and do the survey in the office later on. Wow. Well, Bernhard, um, these are many technology details you just explained and this sounds so interesting. So is there a chance for um, any people watching this video right now to get a chance to see a, a demonstration somewhere? So where, 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 what, who can they ask for that? <clears throat> so, unfortunately, um, there's still countries where we can't see our customers directly. In many countries, this is possible. And I also know this, this technology is new. It's, it's also difficult for us somehow to, because we're the only one at the moment, to make sure the customer believes this, that this technology is working. So you have to see it. You have to touch it. And I was really looking forward to this year's Intergeo because we had a, a lot of ideas in mind how we can demonstrate this live to the customer outdoor, have some fun competition, um, block this on, on social media. So unfortunately, this is all not possible. So there will be uh, a hexagon room as part of Intergeo and a virtual room. And there we will have, for me, I hope it's one of the highlights of the hexagon room. There will be actually live demos here from Harebrook and it will be an interactive demo so people can, during the demo, ask questions or they say, no, I would like to, to measure this point now, or I would like to measure this distance, show me how, how precise it is because people really have to see it live in order to believe uh, that this technology works. And we also will talk about the limitations of this technology. Every te technology has limitations and we will openly also uh, talk about this this limitation. So it will be um, there will be lots of events as part of this hexagon room about the GS eighty nine. Yeah, it's a pity that we cannot meet in person. Um, actually, we cannot meet in Berlin for this year's interview. We have to meet in digital spaces because of travel restrictions and yeah, it's safety and health first this year. But um, we're looking forward to a bigger and stronger interview in 2021. But this year, as you just mentioned, those demonstrations will be in kind of digital virtual booths where people can meet you, meet your team, and especially also ask for the GS, uh, GS18i. And um, yeah, what do you expect of this kind? I mean, we are the, for the first time digital with this interview. Usually we met about 20,000 people over, over three days and uh, it was a huge gathering. So what do you expect? Uh, what are your expectations for this year? That that's really a, a a tricky question because it's so different. And in fact, um, for us, it, it's it's more preparation work in order to, to prepare the, the digital content. And it's good because it can be even spread further than than it would be. Um, within the Intergeo exhibition, actually. So, so there is no, no border with regards to, to countries, time zones, traveling, etc. So, so that's a positive aspect of it. And, and I'm sure some of this digital content we produce, because it's way more content than we, than we did so far for the, for the Intergeo, that, that parts of this 
um, difference to normal year will will remain. So I, I guess the industry will remain more digital, and we will also learn a lot of what works and what doesn't work. It won't be so easy to to generate the traffic on these channels. Uh, it has to be exciting. It, it must not be boring because I know from my kids they can only concentrate for one minute 30 on a YouTube video. So, and we're not doing TikTok stuff here. So it, it, will be, it will be tough. And it will also take time, I think, that Intergeo uh, finds out what works and what doesn't. And, and the same holds true for us. It won't be so easy, honestly. Yeah. But uh, it, it's a chance and some, I'm sure that, that the positive things of what we'll learn, just things like home office, it's now normal, we work from home. Um, these, some things will stay and, and the good things, good things will certainly stay. Yeah, we keep our fingers crossed that everything works well. I, I mean, we know that everything changed. We're more digital, we're more used to video chat and things like that. But we're also looking forward to see us in person <laughs> within the next year. Yeah. So um, Bernhard, I think you just mentioned we are over 1.30. We are a lot about over 1.30 minutes. So um, let's um, meet at Intergeo Digital from the 13th to the 15th of October. With Hexagon, you can meet also Bernhard Richter and learn more from the GS18i. And Bernhard, it was everything from me this morning. You have anything else you want to tell us? No, thanks a lot. I just missed the coffee now after that interview, but yeah, have that together. Yeah, it's a pity. I will send it over to Switzerland, and you sent me some chocolate back. That's okay. okay. Toblerone. Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So when we see us next time, coffee for you, chocolate for me, and then we will quit. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.